I have worked as a writer all my adult life. I started out as an advertising writer. So the first things I was paid to write were like literally six words long. You know, I was writing headlines or uh, you know, print ads or uh, billboards, that type of thing. And then I moved on to writing for children's television. And uh, that was just uh, a chance encounter with somebody in the business and I took a one day uh, workshop and realized that it was more or less the same process. Writing a 30 second commercial is not that different from writing a 30 minute or 15 minute television show. So I moved on to that and I did that for about 10 years and basically just needed a break from the stress of writing uh, deadline work and, and keeping a whole bunch of producers and directors and distributors and what have you happy. And I really just decided to take a break. Um, and again, another chance encounter, talked to somebody who happened to be writing a YA novel. And I didn't even know what YA meant at that. I, young adult, I had no idea what that meant. And she explained it to me. And literally the next day, I started writing this book, which became The Puppet Wrangler on a whim, thinking I'm just going to take four months off from the television business, see if this works, you know, I'll send it off. And it got picked up and that was it. I, at that point I decided this is what I really want to do, the type of writing. So uh, as far as my process goes, um, oh, I'm going to try and make it sound like I actually do have a process and there's some, <laughs> there's some <laughs> It's not just utter chaos. Um, ideally, I get up early and start writing first thing um, because I'm always having to keep slightly ahead of my brain. Uh, I can talk myself out of writing pretty easily. Um, so I find that if I, if I sit down, write very quickly, especially first drafts, um, it works a lot better. So I will, I've got an office at home, I sit down, I will write say for two hours. And I basically at the first draft stage just write whatever comes into my head. I'm, I'm really trying not to uh, edit it all at that stage or think too hard about it. Um, uh, again, partially just so I don't engage that part of my brain that says this isn't working. <laughs> um, so uh, I will start writing and I don't care if I'm starting at the beginning of the book or the middle of the book. I'm just, I don't care if I'm at the start of the page, I'm writing about a boy named Tom and by the end of the page he's kind of morphed into a girl named Janet. You know, I just, I just write whatever comes into my head. I'll take a break, then come back. And at that stage, I read it out loud. And I, this is one of the things I always tell kids, including my own, which is to read everything out loud because your ear will hear a lot of things that your eyes just don't see. So I, I read it out loud and I'm quite a brilliant typist, I have to say, mostly because I was always running late in, in my entire life. So I, I really learned to type as fast as my brain works. So as I'm reading it out loud, I'll be making changes on the fly. And um, basically that process just continues. So uh, I'll do that for a while and then I'll come back. Um, I'll sit down again, read out loud what I have rewritten, continue to make changes. And then hopefully it works a bit like uh, the run before the high jump or whatever. As I'm fixing that, then I, it, it kind of gives me the momentum to carry on. And uh, so that's basically my process.